Greetings fellow warriors and welcome back to another Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlot modding video where I, Artem, show some very interesting and new mods that you should totally install before starting a new game. I've made similar videos quite some time ago and during this span new mods emerged that I want to talk about today. By the way, if you're noticing that my voice sounds a little bit weird, it's because I've gotten pretty ill, which should explain the lack of uploads as well, but it looks like it's getting better now, so I hope you understand. Also, I know this must be annoying, but hey, it works. Only a small percentage of you beautiful people are actually subscribed to the channel, so it would be very nice if you could do just that. It's free, takes less than half a second and you can never change your mind later, because you're trapped here with me. Thanks! But other than that, let's dive in to the mod list. The first mod I want to talk about is called Longer Siege Battles by Wenlong311, which does just what the name implies, making sieges longer. As the author says, walls and doors were designed to keep invaders outside, defended fortresses weren't meant for anyone to just run in and capture. He achieved that by tweaking some values like making the battering ram and siege tower slower, giving more HP to the gates and changing the attacker to defender ratio. So for example, in a battle with 1k defenders against 2k attackers, the defenders will start off with 400 and the attackers with 800. Battering rams will now hit the door about 80 to 130 times, which will take like 6 to 8 minutes, depending on what level the walls are, which is a pretty nice change in my opinion. Previously, the gate was almost immediately destroyed after like 5 to 10 hits, if you want to tweak the values yourself a little bit, for example lowering the amount of hits needed for the outer gate to break, the author of the mod provided a neat little tutorial on how to change these values yourself on the Nexus mod page. Don't worry, it's all just XML editing, so it's pretty easy to do if you just follow his tutorial. Next up we have more arenas by Fusel MacDoozel, adding 7 new arena maps to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. For the Empire? Two new and very interesting concepts of arena designs have been added. The first one being a flooded arena, based off of a legend about how the Colosseum was filled with water to allow for mock naval battles. The second one, a sand pit, is based on the arena in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, with a pillar in each of the four corners and a central pit. The Sturgeon faction received one brand new arena. The cliff arena is an arena flanked on one side by a large cliff face with rock outcroppings in the center and edges. The Azerai has a new sand filled pit that slopes down to a raised platform in the center, which is accessible from two sides. Batania's got a new forest arena, which fits its faction aesthetic other than the deforested arena map we used to play in. And lastly, Vlandia received two new arena scenes. A jousting arena, because there's nothing more Vlanian than a jousting style arena, and a square map that features a central pond and rock formation that can be used as the high ground. All in all, I think these new arena scenes are a pretty nice change to what we were used to fight in. Especially during the early game, when it's all about grinding those arenas. Well, at least I do that most of the time. It's good to see some change in the scenery. My favorite one must be the flooded arena. There's a certain uniqueness to it and it's just an interesting concept. What do you think? Up next we've got real combat sounds by Ulf Karl, which replaces the blunt cut and pierce damage sounds for actual real sounds recorded with real weapons. And instead of talking about it, why don't you just take a listen? My opinion, I think this is a pretty good alternative to the vanilla combat sounds, especially if you played a lot of the game already, and I hope Tailwords will implement more ways to add in even more sound effects for more diverse sound experience. The next mod I want to enlighten you about is called Caradia Factions Enhanced by Batmao, which adds over 100 new weapons, 234 units, 45 troop trees, 17 factions, 50 lords and 45 new spawns to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. 
Do you feel like Karadia is way too empty just with looters, forest bandits and mountain bandits? Then this mod is definitely for you, because the custom spawns allows for Imperial deserters, angry mobs, robber knights, renegade clansmen and many many more to inhabit the vast lands of Karadia. Each main faction except the Empire gets a new clan with 4 lords. These lords have a very high chance of recruiting the newly added units by default, instead of the 50% chance like every other lord. These newly added units are very unique in their appearance. By utilizing mods like Swadian Armory and Open Source Armory, the author created some interesting new troops and lords which stand out from the vanilla ones to breathe some deeply needed fresh air into the game. Six of the new factions are designed like native minor factions. They can be recruited by kingdoms and they have three unit troop trees and four lords each. The other six factions are hostile by default. They have bigger troop trees and all units can be hired at taverns around Caradia. They can't join kingdoms as mercenary clans, but factions will recruit them from the taverns. It's safe to say that this mod adds some new spice to Bannerlord, since it's been a pretty good while since the last content patch. Up next we have a very simple yet effective mod called Shields. They block things by A. Yannick, which allows shields on your back to block incoming attacks. When holstering your shield in vanilla, your shield won't prevent any damage when hit from the back, and this mod simply changes that behavior to a more realistic one. How neat! And the last mod I want to talk about today is called Vexilim by Deciduous Dreams, adding an assortment of 16 banners for the player, character or NPCs to use. And if I may say so, these are the most pleasant looking banners of all the banner mods. They are custom made with different designs and they function just like other banner adding mods. To get them, all you have to do is visit any Vlandian town and buy them off of the vendors. Or just, you know, cheat them into your inventory and give them either to yourself or your companions. I hope that the author will find a way to distribute them onto your soldiers in the future like some of the older banner mods do. And yeah, I guess this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. It would help out tremendously and also show me that you want to see more content like this in the future. And if you haven't by now, now's the best time to subscribe. Join my Discord server where you can talk with me and other like-minded people about all kinds of stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Stay safe warriors, become a member today and bye! Another huge shoutout to Chains, Man, Edkiner and MaxM for supporting the channel.